Now I'm going to show you the different types of symbols that come with the basic five piece kit. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is the rod symbol. This rod symbol has two parts to it. It has the bell and then the bow. The bell has, uh, it's a little bit more angled up and sloped up and it gives you this sound. That is the bell. Now I'm going to show you the bow, which is the rest of the symbol. Uh, this is the bow. This is the bow and the bell. Also on a basic five-piece kit, you have a, a crash symbol. And this is a crash symbol right here. Uh, also made by Zildjian. And it does have the bell and the bow, just like, a, like the um, rod symbol had. Uh, this is the bell. And this is why it has its name Crash. Bell. Crash. I'm also going to show you the hi-hat. And if you turn around with me, I'll show you something right here. This is the hi-hat symbol. You use the hi-hat symbol with the clutch here. You tighten it down with the clutch. This part of the hi-hat is uh, attached to the hi-hat stand, and that's called the tension rod. And the way you use the hi-hat, it has two different symbols attached to it. Let me just go ahead and raise it up for you. You see, dip, you see two different hats. This is the top hat, and this is the bottom hat. And you use it this way. You have your foot, and you just clamp down on the hi-hat. And it gives you a nice, crisp sound like that. And then if you want to use a stick, you get this sound. Now I'm beating on the bow side. If I raise up my foot while I'm playing it, you have, you have this sound. If I go back and forth, you have. And then this is the, the bell. You hear the two different sounds if I open it and close it. And that is the hi-hat. So you have the rod symbol, you have the crash symbol, and the hi-hat, which make up the basic symbol setup for the basic five-piece kit. This is Chris Bullitt with Expert Village.